Here are 10 indicators that a person belongs in the social elite. First and foremost, the way a person handles themselves. High society people exude an air of authority. They attract attention and make others want to be in their company. That extra bit of brilliance makes them intriguing and sets them out from the crowd. The totality of all the minute factors that shape one's impression is what constitutes high class. Keeping everything in step ensures a consistent, growing impression. This will give you a good idea of their beliefs and the principles they hold dear. Each person we've ever met has a unique mental representation of us. The majority of the wealthy individuals maintain the very same version, which can only be done by remaining consistent over a lengthy period of time. Second is an appropriate demonstration of class, but not of money. Status does not always correlate with wealth. One's class can be defined as their demeanor, reputation, and the way others interact with them. Those with class never have trouble making ends meet. It's not always possible to find class among wealthy people. A person with class is courteous. A person with class is pleasant and friendly. It's in the way one portrays themselves and the care with which they put together their possessions and clothing. Personal representation includes how you look after yourself, what you wear, and even how you smell. Thirdly, the ability to regulate your emotions. Those at the top of the social hierarchy never lose composure and have excellent levels of emotional intelligence. People of high status may be fuming on the inside, but you never know it. There is never an instance of a favorable outcome when one loses control of his or her emotions. This enables high-class individuals to interact with others, form reliable relationships, or even function well around someone they find unpleasant. For those at the top of society, feelings are more than just a personal trait. They're a strategic asset. If you go to any gathering that is intended to raise money for a good cause, the organizers will most likely try to tug at your emotions. This is done because people's feelings have the ability to motivate them to part with their money. Fourth, how close they are to exciting opportunities and how hungry they are for new experiences. Those at the top of society are well-traveled and fluent in the languages and customs of many countries. One of their defining characteristics is a willingness to experiment and a craving for unfamiliar activities. They are able to have a unique perspective on the world as a result and they frequently have the fluency to talk in a number of languages. A person can learn a lot about themselves through travel. Rich people don't only visit the area, they actually integrate themselves into the community. Fifthly, awareness and wisdom. The importance of having a good education cannot be overstated. Learning the fundamentals is important. But for those from affluent backgrounds, schooling is more about learning how to act in social situations. This is one of the reasons why wealthy parents send their children to boarding schools that charge a lot of money. In this way, they may interact with other privileged children, and the fact that they have money will not define who they are as individuals as it could if they had grown up in poverty, for instance. Diplomas aren't everything, but they help maintain prestige among the upper classes. But what matters most is not a single event or piece of knowledge. They pick up manners, the art of speaking quietly and politely, and how to use shared interests to forge connections. To stay ahead of the pack, upper-class people don't just study the fundamentals of physics and chemistry. They also make it a point to stay abreast of and comprehend the happenings of the present day. Those who have a high social standing are skilled at making chit-chat and are able to put on a happy face whenever it's necessary. Sixth, you have a refined appreciation for aesthetic nuance. Upper-class people have a basic understanding of fine art. There are many extremely wealthy people who don't appreciate the aesthetic value of art, yet they nonetheless have extensive art portfolios because the elite are in on a hidden truth the rest of us aren't. Investing in art isn't just a way to improve your quality of life. It can also increase and safeguard your financial security. As compared to more conventional investments like stocks, property investment, and gold, Artwork has shown impressive returns over the previous quarter century. As basic necessities like food and gas have become more expensive due to today's record high inflation, you can only imagine the effect that the economic turbulence is having on your retirement savings and investments. The wealthy don't suffer the same losses that the rest of us do during economic downturns, and some of them even benefit from it. 
For this reason, investing in artworks is a sound strategy for weathering economic downturns and bolstering personal wealth. Seventh, they pursue what picks their curiosity and what helps them advance personally and professionally. Why do they ask a greater number of questions than they do make statements? It stems from pure interest. They have an insatiable appetite for knowledge and are always on the lookout for novel experiences. High-class people are perpetual learners. Simply being among other successful people can help them maintain their competitive edge. Furthermore, life is greatly enriched when you surround yourself with intriguing people that inspire you to develop to your fullest potential. Eight, they have lots of resources. People from affluent backgrounds tend to be unhirable. They're not employable by you. Each member of the family has sufficient financial resources to guarantee the well-being of the group as a whole. People from affluent backgrounds often have jobs, but they are usually in the family company where they manage one of the many businesses the family controls. Old money and high class are terms used to describe people who have been well off for multiple generations. Take advantage of this time to reflect on how significant the impact of building riches that will last for generations will be. You acquire some property and hold on to it for the benefit of future generations. Your offspring do the same and take good care of the property they inherit from you. If everyone pitches in and keeps their heads together, with no separations, no gambling, and no wasteful spending, even the middle class families can prosper. Ninth, keep an eye on how they interact with others. Most people, given the opportunity, will attempt to draw attention to themselves. Upper class people behave in the other way. Those who are attracted by novelty treat you like a celebrity, shower you with questions, and pay close attention to your answers. Speaking doesn't teach you anything new. They believe in treating everyone with respect and value since they're aware that rumors spread quickly. Everyone has both a well-known identity and a private one that is rarely discussed. You're probably right in thinking that the second one is much more accurate than the first. A person of high social standing responds to the good fortune of being taken care of by others with appreciation rather than arrogance. Tenth, everyone knows their name. They've made a name for themselves in the community thanks to their dedication to others. They frequently patronize the same dining establishments, lodging facilities, and stores. Elite people understand the value of building lasting connections and the impact they can have on the standard of care you receive. If a client you've had for 10 years suddenly has an urgent request, you'll drop everything to accommodate them. Loyalty is rewarded by the care and protection of others. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, I truly appreciate it. Click the subscribe button down below if you wish to transition from the life you have right now to the life you truly desire.